<gasps> do we see what I see here? Do we see? Even minus the fact that it is makeup and I'm excited about that. Look at the bubble wrap. Look at the bubble see, wrap. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Do we see protective packaging in here? Hi friends, welcome to my morning because today is actually, as I'm filming right now, July 31st and you will not believe what just delivered. Well, actually you might because last month they did a great job too. This, my friends, is about to be our Ipsy and BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of August. I have to tell you as a content creator who has regularly gotten the boxes in the past few years, like mid month or a week into the month, I love that they're actually making sure at this moment we're still getting them super early so I can take the time to film the content, edit the content, which is a lot of work, and then upload it in a reasonable time in the beginning of the month for you guys to see this so you know, is it worth your dollars? What are we thinking? I'm so excited. So you guys know, I have my scissors here. I have my morning beverage. I have no makeup on. Let's see what we can do together with these August boxes. Ready? Cheers! A little pineapple mango lemoncello kind of combination here and let's cut this baby open okay let's get in here and see what we are working with okay we still have the new boxes now a big concern we have had is there's been no packaging inside these boxes to protect the high-end items but i did get some private messages from some of you guys that while a lot of us did not get filler, they have heard us and they are now putting in bubble wrap, protective wrap in these boxes, or at least some of you have gotten it. So let's see what we're working with this month. I am super excited. August is a big month. We've got two boxes and a bag. Let's get into this. It's August, let's return to the wild. Okay. Restorative skincare, earthy colors, mindful practices, whether you're hatching new goals or refocusing at work or school, it's time to root yourself in a new uplifting routine to realign with your purpose. Oh, I love that. That's totally up my alley. Apparently the theme is natural, but make it a little wild. Okay. All right. We're playing. We're loving it. So as always with these videos, we have the glam bag from Ipsy. This has five deluxe beauty items in it. If you are a member, you do get to choose one of your items and it does go up to like a $70 retail value and you only pay 13 bucks a month, which is awesome. And then the boxy charms, which you wouldn't know looking at it. It's not here. It's here. Boxy charms are as always five full size items and the retail value on that is up to $200 value and then you only pay $28 a month. And now members do get to choose three products with this merge with Ipsy. So that is a big deal if before you were only choosing one or two items, that's pretty exciting. But there's two boxes in here. I think this means it's a Lux month, right? Because it is August. So, well, it was called Lux. Now it's called the Icon Box. Because they look the same, this is the first time I'm seeing them. The only differentiator is BoxyCharm, as I'm assuming the smaller one, like it has been in the past. And the larger one is the Icon Box. Now for information on the Icon Box, this has eight full size items in it. So that gives you a little bit more for your money. And also they're kind of known to be more of the luxe items, which is why it used to be called boxy luxe. Now it's the icon box. This one has a worth up to $350. So again, the value's higher, the products are more. This is in only every three month box as well. So I am so grateful that I still get to work with boxy charm slash ipsy for these videos. So I will have my link and more information on these products below for you. But now we have to do the unboxing portion of all of this to see what are we putting on this face today? What are you thinking? I know some of you guys have been saying you are dipping your toe back into BoxyCharm. Some of you just have the bag so you could do the add-ons. Some of you wanted the full box. So let's see what August holds for us. I'm so excited. I like to start small to big. So let's start with the bag. Oh yeah, humidity hair don't care today. I have no control over it. Oh, the bag is cute. I love a fun bag. Look at this little pom-pom fringe zipper. And then, what do we got? Oh, we've had some Kors before. This is a Kors Silicelic Acid 
Poreless Gel. So this is one of the first ones. A skincare cream for smoothing and balancing, which your girl definitely needs right now. Okay, so we have some Give Them La La Beauty. I know a lot of us aren't huge fans of this brand. So let's see, this is a brow gel. Now I've gotten two brow gel in this past quarter. So for me, this might be something I pass along to a friend, no big deal. I've already got some, I don't need a lot. What is this little baby? Fan Fest, Hyper Black from Benefit. Okay, oh, it's a little mini mascara. That is super cute. Now I don't use Benefit, unfortunately, because they are not cruelty free. So this is something else I will pass along to a friend. I won't open that up just so I could pass it along. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Do we see what I see here? Do we see? Even minus the fact that it is makeup and I'm excited about that. Look at the bubble wrap. Look at the bubble wrap. Did you ever think there'd be a day you were so excited about packaging with bubble wrap? It definitely is natural and neutral. I like these shades. This is fun. Oh, this is from Farah. Okay, I've definitely tried their brushes, but I have never tried their makeup. So that's super exciting. They look really good. And this shimmer looks really, really yummy. I kind of already want to stick my finger in it. Ooh, it's like a gold color. A little bit of rust tones. It's pretty. Not super opaque, but you can build it up. I'm already just playing and swatching. Who knew that was going to happen? Me. And the last dose here is a body lotion that smells like vanilla frosting from Memoir. Okay. All right, that is everything in the bag here. So the main makeup that I see that we're going to possibly be trying today is the eyeshadow. And I already got a swatch going. Maybe not my favorite bag I've gotten so far from Ipsy since this whole merge happened, but I'm not mad about it. But I do want to jump into the BoxyCharm next. I, I'm so excited. Also hoping to see some more bubble wrap. Now, I've not been looking at any spoilers or any like sneak peeks, really. This is the moment of truth. Do we see protective packaging in here? Not just the thin piece of like parchment paper, but legit cushion for the tush in here. What do we got? Okay, so there's this thing. This is what I was talking about we don't really care about because it's not really helping much. Okay, I don't see bubble wrap, but we may not need bubble wrap yet. Oh, Anastasia, stick blush. Okay, everyone is wanting me to do creams. <laughs> we keep talking about all of the liquid blushes that I keep getting. And from Anastasia, we did get a bronzer that I just decluttered that was cream that was not good for me. So let's see what colors we have now. This is called Pink Dahlia. Okay, okay. This looks like a shade I could do. So we'll try her today. The component feels very light. It feels a little less luxe, but you know, the main thing is the product. Okay, I did spot as soon as I opened this some Murad. I do love Murad. Is there, oh, and an environmental shield. This is the vitamin C toner. Have I tried this one? I have some stuff from this particular line that I've loved. I do need to be a little careful with vitamin C's because they can break me out. I am pretty excited about this. Right on top here, this guy was calling to me. Dew of the Gods Q. Oh, cucumber and collagen vitamin C scrub, S-E-A scrub. Q is a giver of hydrated and bouncy firm skin. She's a summertime elixir of cucumber and collagen formulated to start your day off with a bounce. You know that summertime vacation feeling after spending the day at the beach or going out to dinner. I've been doing a ton of beach days. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen a lot of the stories. Check me out right here if you have not. I actually came in to counter with a like underwater sea surge creature of sorts. I just talked about it in my Instagram stories today. Check it out over here. It's so much fun. I can't wait to try this because it actually I have a small version that I got in one of my bags recently of like a scrub for the shower. So I'm guessing this one's gonna be, oh, I feel the granules in here. While I'm feeling it, I feel the granules. I think it's gonna be like that. I'm down to try this. I know since I've been doing more beach days, my skin has been super dry on the legs already. So this is gonna help a bunch. Pretty excited about that. There's a palette in here. I didn't think there was a palette. There's a palette in here. Why is there no bubble wrap on this palette? Didn't we just go through this? So why did, this little muffin have bubble wrap, but this one, the big one in the more expensive box, not have one. It's the Berries and Cream Dreams Variety Eyeshadow from Violet Voss. This is a brand a lot of people like. I have hit or miss luck with their shadows. Some of their shadows I've loved, some of them not so much. Let's take a look. Hopefully she's not broken. I like this packaging. Oh, I don't think it's broken. 
Yay! These are some very, you know, berries and cream vibe because that's the name of the palette. I think that's what we expected. So that is pretty exciting. I think this will be fun to play with too. So I can bring in the warm tones with some of the neutral tones. Hopefully this is a good palette. And there's one more thing in here. Oh, and actually some of you guys had a really great idea when I showed you guys my half year review of BoxyCharm, let you know where things were. I couldn't do the cards and I was really struggling with filming. You guys said take pictures or write down what you've got so that way you can keep it in a folder so you know throughout the year. That is a brilliant idea. So I will do that as I'm kind of going through here. There is one more thing in here from Estate, but I'm not sure what she is. This is a liquid lip balm. Oh, in the shade Priority, which looks very approachable. Oh, that surprises me. I don't know what I thought. I, I guess I thought a tube was coming out. Most Wanted, let's see. Oh, and then it's a stick. Okay, okay. okay. That's approachable. All right, we'll give that a try too. We've got some stuff to try today and we're not even to the icon box yet. I am excited. So we've got two eyeshadows, a liquid blush, which I'm like, you know, okay, okay. This will be a shower try and skincare. As we know, this is a very good product. This is gonna be expensive, I know. Skincare, not as exciting to watch on camera though. So I will give you guys updates as I get to try some of these things as I always do in monthly favorites, stuff like that. Are you ready to go to the icon box? I am, but let me. Let me take a picture. Let me take a selfie. I'll use my daily calendar too to remind myself it's August. Got it. Pictures are taken. So the icon box is like a curated box based off of a celebrity. All right, let's see. Do we have any protective packaging in here? Well, we got this thing again. Ugh. Recycle. What's in here? All right, I don't see any bubble wrap. Do you? Do we need it? We may not. We'll see. Oh, I see another one of those pieces of crap parchment. Let's see what we got. Right on top, a trio sponge set. Okay. I mean, I probably need to go through my sponges, honestly, and throw out some of the ones I'm not using anymore and maybe do a refresher. So we could try one of these today. What is this? The Aglo system. This is like ready for relaxation and bliss. Just three pumps dispense 45 milligrams of magnesium plus Arnica, Valerin, and smoothing a aromatherapy oil skin readily drinks in restorative vitamin C so this is like an enrichment for you and your skin I guess this is cruelty free made in California magnesium reset spray I'm not sure what this is is this just skincare is it a spray for aromatherapy soothing mist for the body and the mind do you do this before makeup this is when the card would come in handy because I don't have my laptop pulled up. I totally get that like with all the varieties and the um, options, it is, as we've discussed here before, ooh, that's nice packaging. I also like that there's like a spray pump. At the I totally get that, you know, it's, it's harder to put together cards, I guess. It's just, Alexandria Ryan and I both agree we missed this. I've heard her say that as well. We missed the card. We can tell you immediately, what is this? What's happening? And then you'll know. Now I do take actually magnesium at night before bed. It's like very calming. It's good for your body. I do love magnesium. So I'm totally open to this. How to use. Spray into skin and massage in, focusing on areas of tension or fatigue before shavasana or any time for recovery and relaxation. For best results, follow with a body lotion. So it's kind of just more body than makeup. It's a $48 value. Smells very earthy. So I have a feeling, I mean, obviously then I don't think this is for your face. It's more for like neck, things like that. A little less excited about that, honestly, but I'm glad that it's in an icon box because that's kind of where you get a little bit more lifestyle type things. What is this next thing? Oh, Huda Beauty and it's for lashes. I'm like, is this lashes? What? I, it didn't even dawn on me that this is probably a mascara, but it's what it is. <laughs> the best lashes you deserve, and we solemnly swear to give you major volume. That's what I love. There is a picture back here. Goodness, oh, we're double-ended? Okay, I am excited to try this. So this side says volume, and this side says curl and length, and the shade is extreme black. What do we got in here? Oh, we got Wander Beauty. I think it's been a minute since we've seen some Wander Beauty in our box. This is the... Skyliner Duo. Let's see what colors we have. So the reason I make the face 
is because if you did watch my six month review of BoxyCharm slash Ipsy, you will see that we got, or I got at least six eyeliners in those six months. So it's like I got one every month essentially, and now I've got two more that I don't even use eyeliner a bunch. And they're the same colors we always get, black and brown. I feel like if they're gonna keep giving this many eyeliners, so now I've gotten one every month of the year, it feels like. I mean, we'll try it, but I'm like, if, if you're gonna keep doing it, mix up the colors. I mean, and I get that they may not have that option. And it's like, whatever the vendors want to give you for the box is what you get. But I'm like, where's the blues? Where's the greens? Give me some white, I don't know, something. Something a little different than what we've been getting over and over and over. So that feels a little on the lame side, honestly. So let's keep going. Magic Serum. Okay, it's so talking skincare here, but um, magic? Do you know some Hocus Pocus? So I'm in. Soothe and strengthen a nourishing and soothing serum that harmonizes and strengthens to support radiant skin. I don't think I've ever heard of Joanna Vargas skincare. Apply one to two pumps to cleanse and dry skin in AM and PM. Oh, I think this is the Vanessa Hudgens. Um, she's an actress. This is her curated box, I think, and she loves this skincare. So that's why everything that is picked in here is, is, these are her favorites. And she does have beautiful skin, so maybe I should be listening to her. She said, this is really great for hydrating your skin. I just drenched my skin in this and it really absorbs quickly and well. She said, with just a few drops, it'll give you radiant and silky smooth skin. Okay, well, we got a bare face. Let's just start here, I guess. Let's see what she comes out like. And it is cruelty free, I did check. Ooh, this is what it looks like. Let's put this on, start the day really nice going on very like milky now I do have very sensitive skin so if you see my face looking a bit red just because of the pressure I'm putting on my face just rubbing something in that's normal that's how ridiculously sensitive my skin is and why I need to be kind of mindful when I'm trying all of these new products and when we get a lot of skincare it's such a bummer because then it's like my skin gets to go through it with me mm -hmm. moving on to the next thing in here Amica, this is a great hair brand here and this baby is, looks like a big green crayon, doesn't it? <laughs> or paint maybe? This is The Cure, K-U-R-E, a multitask repair treatment. Restore hair from the breaking point with this multitasking repair treatment for stronger hair that has bounce and body and the ability to hold style and curl. Well, that is great because I have curly wavy hair naturally and your girl is dealing with the Florida humidity today and she's just not having it. Next, well, this is again Toyco. We got some of their products last month. This is all saran wrapped. Let me get in here. Okay, so let's see here. Please don't be cream. Please be a powder. It is a, oh yeah, it says powder blush right on the top. Yay. Okay, so now we have a cream blush we have to try. And now if that's too light, I do have a powder blush, which I kind of do anyway whenever I have on a cream blush. I kind of like to top it off with a powder. So this is great news for me. There we go. Okay, here's the packaging. Your serum and blush are now one. What? Ooh, this is cute. Squalene is the giver of youth and radiant skin. The Sunset Palette pairs luxury of squalene powder with the summery golden color story to kiss your skin with a perfect pop of color. Enjoy the sunset, babe. I am excited to actually play with a blush for the first time and I don't know how long. And ooh, lawless. <gasps> I know we've gotten one of these before, but I'm not mad about it. This is the Lawless Forget the Lip Filler Gloss in the shade Rosy Outlook. Ooh, it is super pretty. Definitely a pale color, but you can put it on top of anything. Now, some of this stuff is going to be things that I'm going to have to let you know about in the future. We have some hair care and some skin care, which they said we were going to be getting. But we do have some makeup in here, too, that I'm pretty stoked about, specifically the mascara that does all the things. Super hyped about that. The blush, ah yeah, so excited. And the liners, again, I've now got, this is seven and eight for me. So this is just, I'm on an overload of liners. I don't wear liners a ton anymore. So I'm just kind of like, or if you're gonna give it, give me some color, let's do some fun. So that's where we're at. I need to take a photo of this before I forget. If you're yelling at the screen, I will do that right now I'm getting ready. okay so we're moving on to the sponge section and i think i failed to say the name i was not familiar with the name at all and the font is really hard to read honestly but i think it's 
It's S L M S Glam. It's S Slamis Glam, I think is the name. And they give you three different options. So the one I'm using today is very similar to like the Real Techniques and Beauty Blender. Super squishy. Like it starts out really squishy and then when it grows, it's like double, triple the size. And then you also get some other fun sizes in here. Like this one I could see being really good with all of the side ridges for powders. And this one also has a bigger side dip into it. So this could be good for powders, concealers, foundations, all of it. Marshmallow. It's like a cloud. What I assume a cloud feels like. I'm just putting on some primer for these pores and as a base. And then my friends, we are going to dive into one of my favorite foundations because I know how it works all the time, no matter what the weather is doing and no matter, no matter what other makeup I'm putting on with it. Do you know what it is? You can yell it. You know what it is. Comment below before I even say it. You know you know what it is. Ready? CoverGirl. Olay Simply Ageless. This is my favorite. Right now I'm going to be combining the medium beige with the warm beige. It's July. End of July right now. August by the time this goes up because tomorrow's August 1st. Oh my gosh. It's the time of year to pull out the warmer ones. Soft. Like Normally my Real Technique sponge has it's a lot more dense. This one, I mean insanely soft. This is not wet but Ooh. Let's see how she does with application. This is how I do my foundation application. Don't ask why I'm so weird. We don't know. Is there an online test for the way you apply your foundation tells us if you're a psychopath or not? Because I might need to take that test. I'm going to use the back of this to bounce it in. Going in beautifully. Because it's soft, it is going to be pulling away just a bit more of the product, but that's fine because I applied a decent amount and also I don't mind if you can see some of my freckles for more of a natural look. Recently uploaded my summer favorites video as well, something I upload every year. I had to change up my eyebrow game because I have done some highlights in my hair. So I've needed to adjust what I'm using. So if you're wanting to know some more favorites outside of these boxy charm products that I'll be using for today's video, check out that video. And I know it's busy, it's summer. So you guys have been so busy. I just wanna make sure my videos are available for you whenever you are ready to hang out and have some chill time. I think that actually pulled away quite a bit of makeup. So I actually feel like even though I just had a bunch of makeup on my face, I kinda wanna apply a little bit more in my trouble spots. Maybe not too much. This is actually a good sponge if you prefer more of a light makeup coverage. There's just some areas where I do like to conceal a bit more. Hop into some of my favorite concealers from e.l.f. I'm curious how this will work with concealers since it does tend to pull a bunch away so far with the flat side. Using the flat side and just kind of like popping it in here. I also like to go up on my lid for a priming start for all of the shadows we're gonna be adding on today. Yeah, it definitely pulls away a bit more product than what I am used to with my Real Techniques sponge because that one is a little bit more dense and not as soft. So this will be pulling away a bit more product, but it is super comfortable to apply. Like I could see myself even popping into this when it's not wet. They gave us three. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop back over here into this one and not get it wet, but look how soft it is. Apply just a bit more down here. Maybe I don't want to get this wet at all. Let's see if I want a little bit more coverage. And since they give you three, why not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is giving some more buildup, more coverage. So yeah, that's what's nice about these two is sometimes if you need a little bit more versatility with your makeup, these type of sponges are great because if you're having a lazy girl day and you want some more coverage, great. Don't get up and go get this wet. Just put on your makeup with it dry. It's still really soft on your skin, but it also applies more product. As you can see, there's less, there's less jumping into the sponge here. It's less absorption in here because it's going into your face. Whereas this one that is wet, it has a lot more product in it because it's absorbing it. I was about to say, okay, I'm going to powder and we're going to move on, but I forgot we have a cream product and this is why cream products don't last for me. I forget about them. Do creams first and then powders. So we shall see how this goes. Should we use the other side of this dry one? I'll draw it on here. Ooh, let's see. Okay. 
the bed. Some of you guys love a cream product. And I know a lot of you also similar to me, which is probably why you follow my channel, are not a cream fan. So it's good to know what does work for people with our skin type. It's or the skin bossy pores. You know the drill, you know the drill. What's easy to make work with other powders and what just is not going to cut it. The color's not bad. It's not too much of a sunburn. It's a lot more of that pinky rosy color. This one is called Pink Dahlia. I did take it in a little bit of a W technique, a touch over my nose. Do you hear Cooper walking in? He hears me talking to you guys. He knows when I'm talking to the other mommies. No, doesn't look bad, doesn't look bad. I would maybe do a little less on the nose next time, even though I only did one pass of it. So I'm going to powder down. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing. And then I think we're going to be ready for the next step. Okay, next I'm going to be jumping into this palette, which I'm pretty excited about. Now, I will say I still see some rosiness since I have powdered down, done some bronzers, done a little bit more makeup here. I do still see her. She is looking okay, but I want, I'm more excited about this. Let's get into it. Go with I, I think I'll delve into this shade here called Cost, K-O-S-T. Oh yeah, that's nice and cute. I like that this is like something you can build. It's not terribly like insanely opaque right at the beginning because that's not how I like to do my blush. I know that blush is still kind of having an 80s kick at the moment, which still makes me go a little bit, but I'm not mad about this. This is more like that sun-kissed, I've been in the sun vibes. I love this variety of colors. I'm pretty excited about this palette, truly. I like a good quality blush. We'll see how this does. I do think it makes the skin look really nice. It has this more, I don't want to say glowy property. I want to see like a healthy, like it's not just blah on your face. It goes with your skin. It kind of gives a little bit of a blurring property too, so far I've noticed. Now I suppose we should go into the eyes and we have two palettes here. We have this little micro bite from Farah. This palette is called Sun Kissed Bronze, which is perfect for summertime. It's a nice little quad here. And then we can marry that over here with this Violet Voss palette. This is the Berry and Dreams palette, as we can see. It's not totally a color story that I would necessarily select for myself, but I have been going more into warmer, richer tones lately. So I'm curious how this plays on the eyes because sometimes what you see in the pan isn't always what plays on your lid. So let's find out. Take a fluffy brush and go into the shade Berry Land, which I like to start with a more cream color, just to kind of like get something down, see how something plays. Is it pigmented? Is it dusty? Kind of get the lay of the land here. Since I don't see too much, I'm going to pop over here into this quad here for a little bit more of a creamy shade, just to kind of see if I get anything else in the crease section specifically, just to start building a touch. This berry bouquet here on a clean brush. Let's see, what do we see? Ooh, there we go. Now we got some pigment. Now we got some spread and some blend. Okay, getting a little concerned. We weren't gonna have much pigmentation. I like that this spreads pretty nicely. I'm gonna dapple in here into this more peanut buttery shade in the tiny quad and see about building up an outer corner. That's pretty. Definitely a layering piece. I've never tried fair shadows, so this is really an experiment because I like their brushes, but I've never tried any of their shadows. Not maybe my favorite formula, but it's definitely passable, definitely easy to work with. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna dip into this matte shade that does have some gold flecks in it. So I wonder if this is gonna be a nice outer corner of color because everything else in that other palette is a lot more berry toned. So I just kinda wanna see if I can build up a little bit of brown underneath see what we play with here. I like this color. I'm trying to decide if I see any of the gold flecks. So this darker shade's going on a, a bit more patchy. I was gonna say a bit, but then I kind of like stopped myself. But now we do have some kickoff here that's flicking off the brush and going into the center here in the nose. Not a big deal. I like the color story that's on the eyes right now though. It's really pretty. This is a nice color story. It's a nice little bite-sized palette. Could I live without it? Sure. But I don't think I have many of these shades in here, even though this is just a little foursome. 
I don't know if I have many of these shades. Unique brown that has some red tones to it. Um, but it is, I would say this darker shade is a bit patchier and I don't think I see many of the gold flecks. I'm just kind of like getting in here and I really don't. I do see it's patchier though than the other shades, which is disappointing. I'm gonna kick off any of the other fallout that I'm seeing underneath the eye. And let's see what we wanna play with here. Since I'm not loving how this is looking pretty choppy, less blended, I'm thinking about going in with maybe this berry shade and just kind of seeing if I can do a little magic in this outer corner here. This is called Glam Berry. Let's see how pigmented she is. Going in kind of lightly at first. Oh, I do see a gold glitter fleck down here on my nose. I wonder if that's from that. It's definitely one of those berry tones that has some serious purple in it. So it may stain just a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I'll go in with some more because I'm not loving this. I really thought it would be like gliding over it, but I really need to pack this up and layer this up more than I was expecting. I was hoping to just kind of like blend and marry those shades, but it doesn't seem to be working like that. Honestly, this is just sitting on top of those other shades underneath. It's not marrying with it. I can actually see like almost like the levels underneath it. And I'm not impressed. I'm not loving this. You can see like the other depths under there. This is not blending well. I'm gonna go into Berry Bright and I wanna really see this come through on the lid to really bring this whole look together. I remember their shimmers were kind of like their standout piece, I think. So let's see if this can like salvage this eye look. You have some plans today. So I'm hoping to save this. This is looking pretty nice. I prefer fingers to brushes when I do shimmers, mostly because I feel like you get the most control, the most opacity. In shimmers we trust, I'm going to take my finger into Dreamy Berry here on my left finger and I'm gonna go over that corner because I am not liking what I'm seeing in person. It does not look very good. I love boss shadows, man. I know some people love them, swear by them. I have a hard time with them sometimes. What I'm thinking I might do is go into this muted berry shade here with a clean brush. And just kind of sweep in the crease just to try to get some cohesion because there's so much going on with all those other layered colors that that red shade just did not do much for. So let's just see if I can repair some of that and make it all look a little bit more cohesive and seamless. I think I'm gonna pop back into the smaller palette because that quality seems to at least be somewhat better. I'm gonna come back over to this peanut butter shade. Just do a little uh, work here. I have a meeting in like 20 minutes and they're gonna look at me like, girl, you know it's like middle of the afternoon in August, right? Why you got the full deep vampy look going? Well, cause I'm trying makeup, Joan. Don't sass me. If your name is Joan, that's not about you. Hoping that mascara that we're about to put on too is going to like help make everything look long and beautiful and really kind of bring it all back together. Cause this is a part of the makeup that you kind of have to trust the process. Okay, now let's curl some lashes. Now I was reading on the box and I don't see where it says which one you're supposed to start with. You start with the curl in length and then go into the volume. Does that make the most sense? I obviously curl my lashes ahead of time because I have to. So let's do curl in length and then we'll go to volume, like pump up the volume. This is what the curl in length wand looks like. Oh shoot, I forgot we have a liner. How could I forget? We've gotten them every stinking month. Maybe it's just I want to forget them. It's intentional amnesia because I'm like, I'm on overload. Maybe I should give these away. I do have pretty long eyelashes. I think estrogen helps having good hair growth. So I think that's why I have pretty decently good eyelashes as far as the length goes. Although my husband's lashes put mine to shame. Okay, so this is one coat of the length and curl. Now let's come over here to the volume. Pump up the volume. Now the thing about mascaras is, is, is we kind of can't really judge it based off its first use. Mascaras can get infinitely better after they open up, oxidize, and get a little bit more life out of them. Oh, this is a really good wand. I like how it's kind of bending. 
I really like the feel of this mascara in my hand too. The shape of it makes it easier to grip. This is a pretty wet mascara. This is with the volumizing. Not bad. I do have and have seen some better, but again, brand new, brand new. For lips, I have these two, and I feel like I should probably start with the one that has some color to it. This, this is Most Wanted from a State in the Shade Priority. Should I do a liner first? Because it looks pretty glossy. I'll do a liner first. Can't remember the last time I got a lip liner from BoxyCharm, but I've definitely gotten eyeliners. I get some good liners from Boxy too. Okay, got a little liner action going. So now I'm gonna jump into the most wanted uh, liner. This is the perfect color for it. Okay, but now I don't need the Lawless because this is also very juiced up. I know I love the Lawless though. The Lawless I have. Also a clear one. So I was kind of hoping this one would be a little bit more tinted. Well, I guess it is. This is the one I've had. This is the new one. It's a little bit more pink toned. The Lawless Forget the Filter. I mean, I guess because I've already had it, I don't need to try it on. It does have some tingling to it, but it is so good. Makes your lips look plumpy, juicy. Love it a lot. But also really I'm liking this from a state. I'm kind of shocked. Super comfortable. Doesn't really have a smell to it. This is like a nice pout. Okay, before the thunderstorm hits, let's wrap this up and give you guys some of my final thoughts on the whole month in general, some of the products, all the things. Let's do it. Okay, it is about to thunderstorm here, so I need to wrap this video up and let you know my thoughts on this whole month. We've got the bag, the boxy, the icon. We have the triple trifecta right now. So what do we think of the entire month of August? I will say there are going to be some choice pieces that I can absolutely see taking with me into the rest of the year. I really love this blush palette and how often do I say I love a blush palette? Not often, but I love that there are options in here. I love that it's a great formula. It's buildable. I love that I can use this all year long no matter what the season is. And I'm not a blush girl, so that tells you this is a good product. I'm excited to play with it more though, so stay tuned and be subscribed. I also was really shockingly surprised by this Estate Lippy, the most wanted. I love the way my lips look right now. I also love getting Lawless again. This is the Forget the Filler. I have already gotten one, probably from a Luxe, but I'm not even mad about it because it is so good. Getting another one is just like, yes, please and thank you. The sponges are actually really nice. I would say if you like a little bit more full coverage, just be a little lazy in the morning and don't get the sponge wet like I did and you'll get a nice look. I do need to declutter my sponges anyway. So at first I was a little like meh on that, but they're super soft. I could use them versatilely with a lot of different things. So I'm fine with that. The Anastasia blush, I'm honestly confused about because I can't get it to go up. I don't know if I got a broken one. It's even squeaking but I can't get it to go up to see how much product there is. Once I use this much, is it gone? Is it a done for product? Do I reach out to Boxy? Am I doing it? I even tried it the other way and that's not, oh, that's thunder. I even tried it the other way and it's not doing it. The product itself looked fine on the cheeks, pretty easy to work with, not overwhelming. So I'm not really mad about this. I just hope I don't forget to use it, but if I can't get it to come up, there may not be much to use. But that's an Anastasia issue really, not a boxy issue. Just letting you know though. Does yours work? Can you pump yours up? Tell me. I have on this Joanna Vargas underneath all of this makeup and I'll just have to Stay tuned with you and let you know, do I notice any nourishing and smoothingness that happens to my skin? I don't know. My skin has been going through the ringer this summer with some of the other stuff I've been trying from BoxyCharms and it has been breaking out. So we shall see with this along with, there was a lot of skincare this month for sure. So if you're not a skincare lover, this may not be your jam, but if you are a skincare lover, this may be a great month for you because then we also have some more Kors Poreless Skin Cream. I do have pore issues, so I am excited to play with this. Oh yeah, the body lotion here. Oh, so Memoir Archives is actually a fragrance line. Um, and I guess maybe they're getting into some body lotions. I'm looking them up really quickly because I wanted to see if they were cruelty free. According to their Instagram, they are vegan and cruelty free. It's nice and thick, look at that. What do they say it smells like? Vanilla frosting. Politefully and respectfully disagree. Now it doesn't smell bad, but it 
this is not what I think the majority of the population would say vanilla frosting smells like. It feels really nice. The lotion is really quality. I think I saw online there that it, this is maybe linked to the Francesca stores that you like see at the mall and stuff. I don't smell, maybe a very, 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 very faint smell of a touch of vanilla, but that's about it. My hands are feeling a little tacky right now. Um, this bag is definitely not my favorite bag to get as far as the contents go. I don't use Benefit because they're not cruelty free and I already have, um, I think two mascaras from the past few boxes. So, um, I don't mind giving this away though to a friend and give them Lala. A lot of people have been not like vibing with a lot of the cosmetics. I have like some of her skincare though, but this is the third clear brow gel that I have received from BoxyCharm and the Ipsy bags. I mean, I think this is my third one in this quarter alone. So I don't need that many. Just like I really, really, really don't need two more eyeliners when I've gotten six this year alone from BoxyCharm specifically. So these I am going to just go ahead and give away rather than use and then use once in a video when I have so many more. I'd rather gift these away. The Farrah palette, I will say, I think I even like this a touch better maybe than the big palette, but I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of a bold statement because there's different things to examine here, but I will say this seemed easier to use, very blendable, very easy. The shimmer shade, um, it's gone now because I just put lotion on, but I will say I feel like the shimmer shade was a little lackluster. The mattes were pretty good. This corner shade though, not my favorite. Definitely was choppy and made things go a little awry quickly. However, can't say that the Berry and Dreams Violet Voss palette was that great. The shimmers, I like the shimmers. I used one of these more purple red shades on the outer, this one here on the inner to center of my lid, loved. I liked these shades well enough, but well, did I? The, Gl the Glamberry definitely did not do a great job. I still see a lot of choppiness out here, which could be a, a contributor from both palettes. Honestly, I've been trying to work up in the crease in between. I'm just not loving today's eye look because, not because of the color story. I think the color story looks really nice, especially with this lippy. It's more the mattes. I, which matte did it? It was this one. I think Muted Mulberry did a bit better. The shimmers are really where this is at, guys. The shimmers is where this is at. So I'm gonna have to try this again, maybe without this palette, because this little brown shade here is what started off the whole problem. But Glamberry did not help. It did not help at all. It just kept getting worse. So I'm really not a fan, like in love, love immediately starstruck with either one of these palettes, to be honest. I am excited to play with this for my hair because your girl likes to try some fun hair products. I'm not sure how I feel about this Magnesium Reset Spray. I think I'm gonna forget about this. I'm definitely gonna introduce it to Adam who definitely has way more neck and back and knee, all the kinds of sores. I'm not so sure about this. Maybe I am sure about this. Is that the, the aloe gods? Are you mad at me? I just don't know, I've never tried it. I don't know. Um, I'll stay tuned. Be subscribed for some of these other skincare things. I am excited though about this Dew of the Gods for the showers. I think this is going to be amazing after you shower and shave your legs and you use this and you put this on and then you rinse it off in the shower. Mmm, so good. And I love Merit. Like I said, I have tried things from this line, including their lotions with SPF and I love them. So I'm excited to use this toner as well. I am finishing up another toner I got earlier this year that was just a, so amazing from Boxy. I loved it. I'm trying to remember the brand, but it's another bougie, amazing brand. You saw it in my six month review. Yeah, you guys. So August was like a middle of the road month, I would say. Got some great things I'm excited to use, some high end thing, stuff that's going to challenge me to be like, oh, don't forget to use this for your hair because I, you know, I should. This, I'm not sure. It felt kind of makeup light, but it's because I'm the kind of like consumer that wants more makeup from my beauty subscriptions. Some people want more skincare. Really excited about a lot of the good quality stuff I do get to play with. What did you get in your boxes? Did you get, did you get what you asked for? Because I heard some choice issues were a problem. Like you were saying in the beginning, this is what I'm choosing, but then you didn't get what you chose. Are you getting what you chose? Do you love it? Tell us what it is. What were you surprised with? And what are you getting currently? The bag, the icon, the boxy, 
what are you doing? I am dying to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you happen to be new, hi, thanks for staying this long in my long winded videos, but I give you the dirty details. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of the upcoming content when I give you full up reviews on everything once I have a little bit more time to play with it. Thank you so much. Bye friends.